Hi, I'm Donna T. Berry, and I'm excited to be with you on an impromptu, really quick, fun live. I want to paint with you today and hope that I get some of you to come on and that you will be surprised with the things that we're going to do today. And so I am, it says, say something, say, come join me, come join me. Come. So how many of you have checked out, join me? Did I say that right? Come join, join me. <laughs> okay. So how many of you um, <clears throat> have been checking out some of my practice strokes and some of my relax and pain? Um, come join me. <laughs> so I, it says, come join, join me, right? Uh, good morning. I guess it's um, it's not quite morning anymore. What are, what time are we living? It's 12.35 here in, in Florida. And I've been worried so much about all of you guys with the snow and the storm and 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 it came right down. Hello, Miss Susie. It came down and scooped up Texas and just was crazy to the whole state. And I feel I know you guys feel for us when we have hurricanes in Florida all the time, but we're used to that. Texas was not used to ice and snow. Um, hello from the UK. It's so great to see you guys from all over the world. It's wonderful. And I, I just thought I'm just casual today. I just, uh, you're warming up in New Mexico. That's awesome. Um, I have a broken nail today and craziness going on. And I thought you guys would lift my spirits and um, you actually made a live. Hello, Miss Donna from Colorado and Gilbert. Hello. It was bad. I know. I feel really bad for you guys. Good morning, Richard. I appreciate you guys coming on. I'm excited just to paint and create with you today. And the weather's really was crazy, but it's beautiful now. Yay, Texas. It's usually really nice in Texas. So when this was all hum happening, we were crazy worried about you guys. Mark Taylor, you and Janet, I love you. I miss you. Um, I've got room. Y'all can come stay at my house if y'all ever can make it to the U.S. again. Um, tell your family I love them. Uh, hello from Wisconsin. Hello. All right. So Paula McCoy, how are you? My glass um, queen. She's. I've got this beautiful glass bowl she made. <gasps> it's so much work. I look at it and I feel blessed every time I see it, Miss Paula. Um, thank you guys for helping me get over 100,000. I've got my button, my silver button. And it's so exciting to share that with everybody. And I think I need to just do a live and unveil it and open the box with you guys. That would be fun. Um, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. And I hope to do that. Uh, good evening in India. Oh, my gosh. It's morning here and evening there. We're, I'm glad to have you guys there. Hi from Scotland. I like it when you all know my language. <laughs> when you don't want know the language and they go, are you going to translate in Russian? I'm like, no, I'm sorry. I'm not. So thank you for coming on. I'm excited to paint with you today. I just want to do something different and do some mellow colors. Actually, I need to get some of those out so that we can get started. Um, I am going to use uh, some whites and some muted green today. So let's see, what do we have? We have fresh cut grass. I haven't used that in a while. And I'm using, I might use some brighter ones, but I'm using, I'm in my double loader today, which you can tell I've been painting all day. And I thought, I'm just going to paint with you guys some, if that sounds good to you. I'm on a gray background. I'm just using gray paper. Hello from Philadelphia. Hello, Arn Australia. Hello, Vicky. And um, everybody else from the UK. Hey, we got, I've been having a lot from Canada recently and um, I'm missing you guys in the UK and I, you're in Orlando. Oh my gosh, we're neighbors. You're right here. Okay. So, all right. So I'm going to concentrate. So I might miss some of your, your comments, but I'll keep trying to check. And are y'all ready to paint? I like thumbs up if you're liking what I'm sharing. You don't know yet, but we'll see. 
And um, if you feel blessed today, what are you blessed for today? I feel like God has when in the morning when I wake up, the world is wonderful. Life is great. And then by the time I get beat up a little bit along the way, which I've been beat up a little bit this morning. Um, and that's why I needed y'all today. So I want you to think about um, taking a deep breath blow it out, go watch my Relax in Pain. Thank you, family, friends, and health. That's right. And think about what, what um, am I more like Jesus or just more like the part of Donna I'm not happy with, all right? So I try, I know we all try, so we just want to try a little bit harder. And when I paint, it makes my woes go away. Um, government is lifting COVID restrictions, yay, in the UK. Hey, listen, we're in Florida. Our governor's wonderful. And we're adult enough to wash our hands, wear our mask. And if we're sick, we don't go around people. But how many of you have sneezed or coughed and you cough because you have the mask on and you're going, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm really well. I'm really okay. And as everybody looks at you and backs away. Um, so anyway, think about the positive things that are going on and this COVID too will pass. I'm not happy when I go to church and we can't sing because we're spraying germs. So we have to sit away from each other. We have to hum inside our mask and they have to escort us out of the church so that we are not next to each other. And so we don't get to visit. That's not good. So anyway, um, I feel blessed. I feel blessed that none of my family or, or friend, well, I do have some friends just recently that are my artist friends that have passed away, but our close friends that are close where I live and my family, we've been blessed. Even some who have had COVID have been blessed. So ready? Let's paint. All right. So I'm going to come down and start on this gray paper. All right. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to take, I am going to take a pencil just because what I want, let me get us straight here. What I want is I'm going to do a mason jar, but you can do any kind of container. All right. So I'm going to come down a little bit more so y'all can see it. This is multimedia paper and it's just what I like about it. It's already gray and I don't have to worry about it. And then I'm going to come down and do the jar part. And actually what I didn't get straight here is I need these little grooves up here for the screw top, right? There we go. And then I'm going to come out and down. I have taught so many mason jar classes and put them full of flowers. Curve down here. You got to curve down here. Yeah, and the temperature is better. That's right. Okay, and what's going to happen here is I'm not straight. Can you see this? I want to come straighter. And the pencil helps you do that. And so I get these pencils, 10 for a dollar. They're, they're number two lead, and they have a white eraser. And they're at Dollar Tree. And if you don't have Dollar Tree, it's a discount place here in the U.S. All right, so what happens is it's all ready for me and I'm trying to get the right scale and I usually do the see-through so we will see what that looks like with with the stems in here and a few little tricks so I've got my floating medium in the middle I've got my wicker white I've got some blue if I want a blue glass jar um, I've got my citrus green and sap green so that we can work a little bit with that and I'm going to use wicker white so let me put some white right in here I'm not going to use all these other colors. I'm going to do something real simple and fun. All right. And so this is all ready. I also have a lid to this double loader. So a lid for the medium so it doesn't run. And these are wonderful for watercolor and for my fabric paint that runs. But there's a lid that pops on here with another lid that has a sponge. And next I'll show it's on my practice strokes. You can see how to use it. All right. So. Um, and that keeps it from drying out in between painting. Okay. And so what are, so what am I good? All right. I'm just reading in between kind of, I'm going to take my 16 flat. And the first thing I do is I'm going to grab some medium and let's grab a little bit of blue. 
and or you could get a little bit of white a little pale shade okay so i'm going to come down here and i'm going to come right down with medium let me get some more medium because this medium will dry clear but what i want to do let me come around here so i can get some more blue i want to have this kind of blue mason jar glass all right so then we're going to come up here at the top now this is going to be the back of the jar so when i come in here this is just going to be so you don't have stems sticking through the glass jar all right i want i want to see placement that's what i'm working for so i'm going to come across here all right and then down this side all right so it's really easy to do this on a canvas and i do a lot of them on black canvas but i don't want to fight you for the look that we're wanting so more medium and it will dry clear just to let you know the medium will i'm going to come across here and across here okay now i'm going to have to go back and put that again after i put all the stems in at the end but i just want you to see down here also i want to see the base of the jar so so look it's a little bit of an oval right there and right there and what that should look like is inside the jar. Oh, it does. See inside the jar? You can see the bottom of the jar that sits. Thank you. I want it to be relaxing, Terathy. Um, and you've got a busy life too, so you know how that is, right? Um, my biggest problem is double loading and keeping it moist. So that's, that's this double loader helps you telling you this makes a difference but i'm on dry paper guys and it is hard <laughs> okay so this is a uh, me media board what is it i want to show you my husband bought me a bunch of these which were fun this is just grayscale and it's a uh, heavyweight textured surface which i don't want the texture but i like that it's all ready for me and he was nice enough it, it's a good for a study with dry media board, which um, <laughs> I don't need it dry, but it is dry. All right. So let's let's put our stems in first. All right. So I want to use a little bit. Of, I'm still got my 16 right now and I'm going to use fresh cut grass, which isn't bright like citrus. It's a little muted. So if you have citrus, add some white to it. OK, then I will I will grab a little bit of white over here and I'm just going to come in this dried up cubby here. It's got some pinks underneath, but I'm just going for using that because I want to get this all muted. I want to keep picking up white I used in other places. All right. So we're just going to put a little bit of green let's get some medium and work that in now every time i come away from the screen i'm coming over here and picking some more up just right in here okay so this is what i want to do now i'm going to replace this the front groove on here after i'm through painting so right now i'm going in front and then i'll put the blue back on it oops guess what i just did i came outside of the jar that's a bad thing i'll have to put a leaf there so you don't see that i did that so you don't want the stem is not going to come through the jar and i just took it through the jar all right so i want to see some stems through here and i'm going to keep coming in here and getting some color All right, now we're going to put lots of flowers on here. All right, can y'all see this? There's going to be lots of flowers. So right now I'm just getting my stems in for placement. It's kind of be like a map so I'll know what I'm doing. Now the good thing is I'm almost using the same color for everything I'm doing today. And if you want to turn these into colored flowers, go ahead. But I'm going to have white flowers. And the reason I like this is it will go in almost anybody's house color-wise. 
All right. So let me show you. I'm going to come right here. Let's watch this. I'm going to go right here to the two colors and flatten that brush out. I should have cleaned one of these out. All right. So this is what's going to happen. I can put some leaves over this later after I put the front of the jar back on. But I want you to see up close that this is how I'm doing this. I'm doing one, two, three, four. And I just pull a, a white stem into it. Coming back here, I'm getting some more white and green. I've got the white on the outside. And so I'm coming right here. I'm going to come up. And do another multi-stroke coming down. And then go right in front. One, two, three, four. Okay. I want that stem to go in there a little bit better. There we go. This one too. Let's come around and put the stem in there. That looks better. All right. So I can add some more leaves in here. But I want you to concentrate on how I'm doing this. This is how I usually do. Okay. Just like that. And pull a stem. But I kind of like the way these look. They're just a little bit different. So do it either way. All right. Oh, okay. Hello, Pat. I'm glad you're saying hi through Gilbert. <laughs> Hello, Miss Barb. Okay, so one, two, three, four. I like doing these lives because I see what you guys like. I like thumbs up if you're liking what you're learning. That keeps me motivated. Oh, they're liking it. Okay, I'll keep going. <laughs> All right. And, and especially when I'm having a hard day. I had a hard day today already and it's only 12 o'clock. So, and I got grumpy and I barked at other people because they were being mean to me. And, and sometimes it was family. So that's not a good thing. <laughs> so I decided I'm going to get on and be with some people that usually like me. Yes. So I like hearing from you guys. If you like what I'm sharing with you, if you are part of the 107,000 subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because what we will do is you'll get, you'll be notified that I'm coming on. How's that sound? All right. So, so I can just put in some long slender ones. Look, some of the flowers have long slender leaves. So long and skinny. Watch this. I'm on the chisel and I slide and I make a long slender one. I'm still trying to decide to do a club where you pay five to ten dollars. You still get all this that's on here, but you get private lessons where I'm just going doing for you special ones besides the ones I put on. So if that's something you would like, they have all kinds of people have these clubs going and they do Patreon and everything. And I was just wanting to do right here on YouTube, but I need to see if that's something that people would like. So you can always write me or message me on messenger. And I am Donna on the road at hotmail.com. All right. Love to hear from you. I open up a whole new avenue of creativity. Thank you. I know. Isn't it wonderful that you can paint something so fast and share it with other people um, and sell it and not feel like you've given blood, sweat, and tears that you're giving away? Where, where I do it for relaxation. When I lost my daughter, when I... Um, have troubles and worried about you know sick family members and stuff and sick friends and my husband having cancer and going through all that what i've learned from that is painting gave me a relief from all the stress and stuff that was going on all right 
So we are going to, are you liking it? Are you liking it? Holland, Michigan. Woo. -hoo. All right. Thank you for thumbs up. It's great. Right. <laughs> okay. So let's do a bunch of little white flowers. Okay. So I'm splitting the brush to pick up paint. Then I, and then I don't have anywhere to go. Okay. Then I'm going to go here if I've used up all my space. All right. So I'm coming back here. Okay, now the first little flower, there's different flowers I like to do. So I'm going to do a larger one where the petals going to come up. I'm going to go up and to a point and back down and I'm going to do those petals. Okay, so up, around, and back down and do five of them. All right, so I keep picking up paint. So right here in the middle, I'm going to go up. Come to a point, come back down and slide. All right, so let's get a little bit closer. See how many different flowers I can show you today. Up, get a point and come down. So I did medium gray and I did four classes one month and all of them were beautiful white blossoms of all different types of flowers. And I have them hanging in my house and I kept them because I love them so much and put them in really fancy white frames. All right. So is that fun? So we got 39 thumbs up. Yay. Hey, thank you. All right. I need a packet of just those leaves. Okay. That's a good idea. It's art therapy. Yes, it's relaxing. It keeps me from thinking I'm losing my mind. I've got 29 grandbabies and I worry about those grandbabies. I worry about them at college. I worry about just, and my daughter who's passed away love children. So I'm always praying, Maria, go watch over them. You know, when you worry and you have that small still voice saying something might be wrong. That's exhausting. <laughs> it's good for pain to not think about pain. I think my husband needs to paint <laughs> because he's got so much pain all the time. All right. Now I should not be coming down on this jar until I put my blue and you'll understand that a little bit later. Okay. All right. So we want more than just two. So what if I do a little bud out here? All right, so when I do a bud, I'm taking one. Then I'm going to take another one and add it on top. And let me turn this around and another one and add it on top. Okay. All right, now I've got that pretty darn green and I, I didn't want it to be that green. But so the rest of them, I'm going to be a little bit more white. All right, so the next petals that we're going to do, um, I want to do long slender like this, or look, you can make them like a daisy. All right. So it'll show better on here. So let's try that. Push, lift, push, lift, push, lift. And see how they're turning? They're turning. Oh, 45. Thank you for thumbs up. See, so... I'm getting a little square on the tip and I don't really like that. So let's see if we can turn it a little bit. So I do 12 o'clock, three o'clock, nine o'clock, more paint, nine o'clock and six o'clock. So then I can do one in between or two in between. See that? All right, so I can come over here. Let's do another one. All right, thank you for the thumbs up, guys. I have a lot of people who said they want magnolias. Yeah, and this is really a fun soft look. That's what I'm going for. And you can continue. This is what you can always do. You can take 
and use any tones. This is looking a little bit more green and I wanted it to be a little bit more white. So we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna bring more white. See how easy that is? I just come back in with a little bit more white. There. All right, let's go back to this one. See how easy it is. The beauty of one stroke painting is if you don't like something you've done, you just pick a fresh paint and you restroke it. Okay. Just restroke a little bit more. All right. So but we need to find a few more things. Now, one of the things I wanted you to see is I will come back and put, let me just do it now so you can see. I'm going to bring a little bit of blue. Blue will look good since we have blue in the glass. And take away some of that green. I wanted more white. And it turned pretty green. All right. So that's going to be pretty, huh? A little bit darker. It'll cover up some of that green. And let's come on it right down here so y'all see a little bit more. One stroke painting, blending, shading, and highlighting in each stroke, but making layers of stroke makes it even more detailed. Okay. We've got all the tools that you need. Somebody said, I'm using the paint I have here. Make it work for me. How do I make it work if I'm using tempera paint or finger paint or and not good brushes? Well, you can make you can practice, but it's just not going to be the same. I, I can't make that happen. So it's up to you. I know that it means you have to spend money sometimes. And I understand raising seven children that I didn't always have the money, but Look, I'm dotting the handle of the brush with paint. But um, maybe ask for birthday presents and different presents during the year or commissions or whatever to help you get what you want. All right, so I'm going to now put white in here. All right, I also have a scruffy brush. See this brush with a scruffy? 58 likes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Practicing safe watching. <laughs> you can, uh, how can we get your products in India? We ship to you. Just go to one stroke.com. O-N-E stroke.com. We ship to India a lot, honey. Okay. So white. Now this is what I need to do. I need to tap it off some. All right, so this is a big scruffy. Okay, so let me show you uh, something that's a little better. This could be like wisteria. I have a whole thing where I do this with Q-tips. Oops, sorry, sorry, with Q-tips. But I wanna show you, this is more like wisteria or lilacs or whatever. Oh, darn it. I didn't show you that either. There you go. But I have another scruffy. Look at this scruffy. This is a baby one. All right. Do I ever outline a mini? Yes, I've used black outlines a lot and different color outlines. You can do that. Um, okay, so then I here's baby's breath like. So when I use that, I can go... and just make it look like a baby's breath. So they look like individual little pounces. And, but I, I tap some off on the plate first so I don't get it too heavy. I'd rather it be lighter and I could come back. Okay. So see, I have a couple like wisterias and then that baby's breath. All right, so let me show you. If I come in here, I can outline. Let me get some white on here. 
and just show you. I have taken with, um, since this is paper, I can come out and outline it with some, uh, I just do a lot of fabric paint where I outline with identi pins. I just did a country western set where we are for country music. And I'm just a girl who likes country music. See how outlining it gives you a different look. And it depends on what look I want. So sometimes I don't want that heavier look. So I can go in here and put some blue since I put blue over there. And blue wasn't what I was intending, but I, you know, I'm liking it. All right. Before I get carried away, I've got more flowers I'm going to put. But I want to show you that under here, I can take my medium and go back to my blue and white right here. Here's some white with some blue. Okay, but I really want it to just be on one corner. So there's my medium, one corner. Now, before I go any further, I need to get this jar here. So I'm going to skip the petal that I, I, let me come down. I'm skipping the petal that I went down too far with because I, I want to be able to put these grooves in and make it look like it's got the screw top on the jar. Okay. All right. Now, let me show you. So now I'm going to take more medium and I'm going to go across on paper. It's harder than if I was doing this on canvas, guys. All right. But that's okay. Paper will make it go fast. You guys are rock stars, man. Look at how many thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So look, we're going to come across here. Have you learned anything new from me yet today? You can make my day. And tell me something I taught you new today. Tell me something you feel blessed about today. All right. So I want you to see that I'm going to come across here. Let me go. Let me come across now. Again with medium because I want it really thin. I came and got some more white. Now watch this. I'm going to push down and I'm going to pull a glare on the jar. And I can go flat and pull some glares. And even a skinny little line. And a little bit across here and a little bit there. Oops, that's going to be too much. All right, so see how just little bits of glare on here? I need to leave it alone, but I can't help myself sometime. <laughs> All right, so you just want it to look like lights hit it, okay? Now, did you see I put a milky film over my green? So now they're underneath. Well, so when you said you haven't been able to get it to look very good, I'm telling you, it's an easy process. If you make the shape of where you want it to be, then you come back on and line it. And see, I'm not even, see this side, I really like this side. I'm not doing too well. So all I do, guys, watch my little tricks. All I do is now I'm going to put a leaf right there and cover that side that doesn't match this side little tricks right all right so just enjoy what you're doing don't stress about it all right and i'm going to put a leaf on top of that wisteria you see it a little bit of a green and white I'm going to have some little fern or little strokes coming out here. Did you see that? No, it's on this side. Look, little strokes over here. Just get a little bit more of white. All right, a little bit up here. All right, you want a couple more flowers? I'm in for a couple more flowers. This one has stems because it's baby's breath and you can put the stems first so you can come later. All right. This one has another leaf on top. All right. 
Now see my white disappeared on that again, but that's okay. I'm going to come in here and make sure I don't want to see. I covered it. I shouldn't have covered it. There you go. All right. So let's do some little fly petal flowers and that kind of fun. Oh, 77 likes. I love you guys. <laughs> okay. So let's come in here and I'm going to get a teeny, teeny bit of blue because the blue is working. I was just going to do soft greens. All right. So look, I'm going to come in here and do five petal flowers. Now this is a 12 flat. Now I can come in here and use um, a smaller brush. Like an eight or a six. You see this? Put a couple little petals here. All right, see a little bit of tiny blue? White. All right, I'll come over here. Little teeny petals. All right, a little bit of white in the center. All right, so this is a little bit of powder blue. Thank you so much, Cindy. How sweet are you? All right, so let me show you another thing that um, I like to do is, um, you know, I always love little rosebuds. So I can come in here and put up and over. I go a little bit closer. This rosebud is hanging down, so it's going up and over. Then I'm going to do a U, more white, another U. All right, so just a little rosebud. I can do another one right here. Where are we at? Right there. All right, so I'm going to come back and put my. Okay, so two rosebuds there. I'm going to come up here and do another one. Up and over. Let's do a U. Let's pick up some white and look. Chisel, chisel, chisel. All right. So I've got a triangle right there, so I need to put another one. I want to turn it upside down. Put another one right here, up and over. Thank you guys. Thank you for being on. I hope you like what we're painting today. And I'm being selfish today. I'm on today so you build my spirits. <laughs> okay. So um, thank you. I'm glad you like the jar. That's what you learned today. Thank you. Thank you. I love one stroke. Thank you, Gina. I remember your name. Um, so look, you can also take and dab, 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 dab. So when I'm dabbing, I touch and pull, touch and pull. Now look how simple, even if you did your whole piece like this. I've had people that are newbies and I go, just come right here and do this. One, one, two. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three, over and over and over, all the way back down. And it just kind of looks like a stock flower. All right. Thank you, Pauline. All right. So I'm going to come a little bit more in here, take it down. One, two, we could put one over here. All right, look, I can come in here and get a little bit of that darker blue. This cobalt, and I put a little teeny bit of dioxazine purple. All right, so tap, tap, tap. Come up closer. All right. See, I'm just going to make those little 
touch, pull, touch, pull. All right. See, that brought a little bit of that blue here up to there. So a triangle. I did a triangle here, but then a triangle up to there bringing you some more blue. Okay, so what I want, to, want you to see now is look, if I pushed harder, so I went from not pushing hard to not pushing harder there. So let me show you that again over here. Let's find a place right here. Oops, that's too much paint. Okay, so watch. Push, push harder, harder. I need more white. See? See, that just looks like a bigger, see, skinny, little, and larger. All right, so what do I need? Let's put another one right over here, hanging out here. A little bit of white on the tip. All right, so that kind of balances it out. Are you liking it, guys? Look how pretty. It's soft. All right, so I can take my script liner with some white and inky water and roll in it. All right, so let's see. I'm going to come out here. All right, so I'm going to just make some little curls. You can turn this around, guys, so you can pull it. A little bit inky here. Pull it. Thank you. Just, it's just, I'm just creating it as we're talking here. Just fun little simple strokes. The other thing that looks really good when you're doing something like this. I want to show you is just a few more dots. All right. So to fill this in, 92, you guys are wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Would be so pretty framed and on a wall. Thank you, Lucy. Okay, look. One, two, three. So you can come in here and fill in dots lots of dots all right can y'all see those dots and all, oops I got yellow there I didn't mean to get yellow but you can all right so look dot 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 so it's just with the handle of the brush okay so look what happens so I can go dot 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 and just have it like little berries coming down and that kind of nice, they just trail off of here. Make sure it's fresh paint. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See how they get smaller as you go? Or I can come in here and go, I want some more big ones and some more big ones. And then they got off. Doesn't that really make it? It's just like, it's nothing for y'all to just put a few dots. But there's a big difference in using the handle of a brush or a pencil point all or stylus all of that's nice but please don't use dry paint we got to use fresh dots and i have a lot of people that lay their brush on the side and they make a mess and that's not pretty so make sure you make it pretty and i'm going to post this picture after my techie person gets a hold of it and you can see up close how this looks when it's all done just little pieces in different places that need something. All right. We're almost at 100. One more person saying that they like it. And I've hit 100 for the day. And then and you have made my day. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope I helped you relax a little bit and enjoy what we did today. And... And there's my hundred. Thank you. All right. Was that fun? I enjoyed. Oopsie. I got a bad dot there. I enjoyed having you guys on 104. You're going to give me a big head. So look at those dots. Isn't that fun? 
<laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Look, doesn't it look pretty in that glass jar? And you can put string ribbon and so, stuff around the jar, but I think that the I'm glad I added the blue, huh? Didn't that turn out good? Oh, thank you so much. Love you all. I'm going to sign it and post it and hope that you guys go paint it. Paint it with me today. Have a good time painting it. Enjoy. And God bless you all. And be watching for me to come on live again, which means you need to go subscribe. Please subscribe. Right? Dimensions to with the dots. I know. See, it's got all this texture now. See all the dots. So please, please share with your friends. Tell them what they're missing. All right. Love you. Subscribe. And there's a place that you can click for it to remind you, like a bell. And if you do that, it'll, it'll ring and tell you when I'm on. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.